Many of these involve unvaccinated people who often catch measles overseas and then return to California with the disease. SB 276 will require physicians in the future to submit requests for medical exemption to the State Department of Public Health for evaluation. And 626 cases of measles, I hope that's the most recent number because it's keep going up, reported in the United States this year with state vaccination rates for each in kindergarten entering class above 95%. The real problem is, is that we have schools that are no longer safe because they have so many medical exemptions, they cannot protect the children who attend that school from an outbreak of disease. And that's why we have to step in. We cannot allow an outbreak to happen at a school that, that then will affect the larger community. That is not keeping people safe. SB 276 is about keeping our state and communities safe from preventable disease. We have uh, school districts receiving exemptions from physicians who basically are advertising and selling those exemptions. They're not basing them on evidence-based guidelines. They're basically letting people buy them. ...are unsafe for those who are medically compromised and cannot receive vaccinations. The fact that medical... In, some time, in the future, the Department of Public Health should be the one to uh, review and basically approve or deny medical exemptions. So they would perform that function uh, after an application by a physician. <laughs> And I'm here because I believe in parental rights and a private patient-doctor relationship. And I'm here to speak on behalf of all of the parents who have a vaccine-injured child um, and who want to maintain that personal private relationship with their doctor. I think it's pretty obvious that uh, this bill gets in the way of the doctor-patient relationship. We are putting a bureaucrat in another city, that, a part, you know, that's not in the room, not diagnosing your child, has no idea of your family history. We're going to make, have them make medical decisions for our children. I think that that's a dangerous step for medicine in general. My name is Dr. Sergio Flores, I'm here on behalf of the over 44,000 members of the California Medical Association. It is time for the medical community to do its part, to call out those among us who are neglecting their responsibility to their patients and the public at large. It's a serious threat and it's sad because this is something that's completely preventable. Vaccinations are highly effective. If people who need vaccinations get vaccinations, healthy individuals, there would not be a need for these outbreaks or there would not be these outbreaks occurring. So it's very important that if people who are healthy and can get vaccinated, they should get vaccinated to protect the people who cannot be vaccinated.